Hi there, it's Claude at Sparkle Sparkle and um, today the video I'm going to show you is how to clean your oven um, at home. You can buy these oven kits really anywhere. Um, there's different types depending on where you stay. So let's get started and get this oven cleaned. First we're going to take some kitchen roll and protect the floor because there could be some drips. So just place it directly underneath the oven. Double weight I think. And if you've got a gap underneath your oven, I would put some kitchen roll under there as well just to save any of the worktops. Now what you want to do is take your trays take the glass off. Some of these they do pop off like that, but others you have to take off the screwdriver. And put this in a bag too. Now you want to take your chemical and up here. You're going to want to put a generous amount into the bag, depending on how dirty your oven is. I've put in just about half. Let's seal this up. Make sure it's sealed properly because you don't want any leaks going over the floor and really do damage to it. Once you pour it all in, just leave it to sit, usually for about 45 minutes. Then make sure everything's out of the oven. And you're going to put some more of this inside the oven. It does come with a sponge but I find it's not really that great so if you just take a normal kitchen sponge and then just spread it around the oven just make sure you get me all the nooks and crannies don't want to leave any surface untouched. You can give a, the inside of the glass we wipe down as well. Sometimes the grease can get stuck in there.
I'll just leave the sponge in there so it doesn't get any chemicals or anything in the kitchen. Okay, once you've done that, you can go away, do any high spark, anything else you want to do for about 45 minutes. And when you come back, I'll be ready just to get back clean. Okay, now enough time has passed for the chemicals to start working in your oven, we're going to give it a good clean out. Um, the, you do get these small gloves with kits that you get, but I find them not to be great because they only come up to your wrist and they're very thin. So I use my marigolds because they come up further and they're a lot thicker. So I'll get these on. Let's get this cleaned. Okay, now there is going to be quite a lot of chemicals still in the oven, but that's good because you're going to need it to get right into the oven to clean. So just give it a good wipe down. Anything that's been burnt on should easily come off the chemicals. So I'll just get right into the corners. Take some of the excess and start the sides. Get into all the wee nooks and crannies that the trees sit on. And the other side. I would advise if you're going to dress yourself, make sure you wear old clothes because sometimes you can get it on your clothes and it ruins them. <coughs> With the back panel, it does come out, but you don't need to do that every time. Once every couple of years is probably enough to do that. So just take some of the chemicals on your sponge and clean up the grooves. And then the rest of the panel. Even give the wee light at the back of your oven a clean if you've got one. Now you want it good around these sides. Won't be as dirty as the rest of your oven, but it's good to give it a clean. And in the inside here, sometimes it builds up uh, food, grease, so make sure you remember to do this bit. Just take this off now. Make sure you give it a good scrub because there might be a lot of grease in it. Lastly, third panel of your oven, on the inside obviously, give it a good wipe down with this. I would advise giving your oven a good clean with the home kits every say six months, just keep the top of your oven. The longer you leave it, the harder it will be to clean. enough of this on. Also remember the seals. Right. Now you want to get some kitchen roll to mop up all the excess off. when you do see how much dirt is in your oven. Not that great, eh? You will need a lot of kitchen off of this because you will have a lot of chemicals to take out of. Make sure you get right into the corners because it collects in there. So I leave any of that in, especially when you're going to be cooking your food. Okay, that's the bottom bit. Now for the sides and the back. 
Then make sure you get right in so you don't leave anything behind. the end results when doing these oven cleans. Make sure you get all of the excess chemicals off. You don't want it to be contaminating your food. take the glass off these ovens is that the door doesn't stay down. And again remember the seals. Okay, once you've done that, take these off now. It's a good idea grab an antibacterial spray and just give your oven a clean inside of it. Spray it all over. And take kitchen roll again. And give it right down. Same as before but not so much young grades I think. leaves a nicer smell in your oven than if you were just doing the kids alone. clean the outside as well because there's no point having a nice clean oven inside and it's a wee bit grubby on the outside. We'll give it a wee spray with the antibacterial. And give it right down. Yeah, the spillages will come off right easy. Okay, in this bag. Got and as you can see they are still looking at cover. But what you do is if you get a big kitchen sink just take it to the sink and rinse it off and give it a scrub. But if like me you've only got a small one, take it up to the bath, get the shower head on, really really hot water works best for this and give it a scrub. Okay I'm gonna go and do that and I'll show you the result once I've finished. Okay, now I've went and cleaned the trays and the glass, as you can see. 
very nice and shiny. And the glass, you can actually see through now. So let's get them back in the oven and have the oven completed. Okay. We'll put the glass in first so it can hold the door down. I think that's pretty good to be honest with you. That's me for another six months. <laughs> <laughs> 